Okay, what do we know here? We know that 3x plus 4y is 200, and we also know that y is a multiple of 5, which means 4y, and the reason I'm talking about 4y is because that's what we have in the equation. We have 4y. If y is a multiple of 5, 4y must be a multiple of 20. And what's interesting is that 20 happens to be a factor of 200. So if we remove 4y, which is a multiple of 20, from 200, whatever remains, which, by the way, is 3x, that thing has to be a multiple of 20. Why is that? Well, because we're removing a multiple of 20 from a multiple of 20. Right? 200 is a multiple of 20. 4y is a multiple of 20. When you remove a multiple of 20 from a multiple of 20, you're left with a multiple of 20. And I go into the reasoning behind that in my book. So now that we've established that 3x is a multiple of 20, can we reduce that factor of 3? No, because 20 isn't a multiple of 3. So if 3x is a multiple of 20, that means that x itself is a multiple of 20. Now, 20 isn't in the answer choices, but if you're a multiple of 20, then you must also be a multiple of all of the factors of 20. So we can say that x must be a multiple of 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Of all of those, in the answer choices, I'm seeing 10, so I'm going to pick it and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.